science for quarter one, week seven to week eight. Milk base. Let's learn about identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Brel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about identifying changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Identify changes that are useful and harmful in the environment. The learning tasks in the previous lessons will help you to identify the changes in materials, whether useful or harmful to one's environment, which is the focus of this lesson. Observe the pictures. Is the place clean? Have you seen places like this in your community or in other places that you have been? You probably have spent time with your friends and other relatives in swimming or playing in a clean and safe playground before pandemic occurred. Have you enjoyed your activities in this kind of place? The immediate place where you are exposed to is your environment. In the sea or river, there are different things that you may see. There are living and non-living things found in them. The natural environment where you are now is your home with your family and other organisms as the living component. In the sea, there are rocks, stones, sand, and water that are found. These are non-living things where humans and other living organisms interact. What are the living and non-living things found in the playground? Are there activities that may be useful or harmful in your environment? There are interactions that lead to changes in the materials found in our home and in our environment. Seas are the habitat or environment for fish and other marine organisms. The playground has some benches and slides where you may rest or play. These materials making up the environment are always changing. Do you want to know why? When land or bodies of water are dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastics, toxic waste, chemicals from the factories, and others, the land and bodies of water become polluted. Land and water pollution are not useful in the environment. Water pollution is very harmful because the fish will be harmed as their habitat will be destroyed. Trees, when cut, can be harmful because some animals live on trees. This will also cause flood in the area. It causes soil erosion, loss habitat to animals, rapid change in temperature, and affects the quality of air that we breathe. Polluted land serves as breeding places for flies, cockroaches, and rats. These pests carry germs that cause diseases, hence hazardous to one's health. The use of fertilizers and other chemicals in plants harm our environment. This will lead to problem of air, water, and soil pollution. The nutrient enrichment phenomenon known as eutrophication, will deteriorate the water quality, leading to death of fishes. The harmful effects of changes in the environment are oftentimes caused by human activities. When the surrounding air is blanketed with smoke from factories and motorized vehicles, ashes and other dust particles, the air becomes polluted. Polluted air causes skin itchiness, lung infections, cancer, and 
other respiratory diseases. Burning of garbage such as plastic materials, rubber, and other waste is harmful also to the environment. Many items in household garbage when burned release dangerous toxic materials that contribute to global warming. However, there are changes in the environment that are found to be useful. The flowering of tree into fruits. Utilization of leftover foods into compost. The use of animal manure for fertilizers and the recycling and upcycling of different local materials are helpful to keep the environment clean and more adaptable for human, plants, and animals to live. This will lead to activities in food production and maintenance of a clean and green environment. And now for our first activity, Learning Task 1, there are human activities that are either useful or harmful in the environment. Complete the table below by examining the situation or picture. Picture or situations of human activities like this. The human activity shown in the picture is burning of garbage. Burning of garbage is harmful. The effect in the environment is air pollution. Another picture is this. The human activity shown in the picture is planting of vegetables in a vacant lot. Planting of vegetables is useful. The effect in the environment is clean and green environment. Look at this picture. The human activity shown in the picture is cutting of trees. It is harmful. The effect in the environment is flood, soil erosion, lost habitat to animals and others. Learning Task 2 Draw a happy face if the given situation states changes in the materials that are useful in the environment and sad face if it states harmful effect. Number 1 Cutting and shaping pieces of used woods, lumber into chair. Is it happy face or sad face? Very good! The correct answer is happy face. Number 2. Water on rivers and streams become contaminated with plastic waste. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is sad face. Number 3. Lung infections and other respiratory diseases become rampant due to excessive smoke from factories and motorized vehicles. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is sad face. Number 4. Recycling of waste for organic fertilizers. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is happy face. Number 5. Dumping of garbage in bodies of water. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is sad face. Number 6. Cutting of trees in the community. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is sad face. Number 7. Vegetable gardening. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is happy face. Number 8. Flowering of trees for early onset of fruiting. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is happy face. Number 9. Clean up drive in the community. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is happy face. And number 10. Flies, cockroaches, and rats breed on garbage thrown on the street. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is 
Sad face. Learning task 3. What kind of solution is described in each situation? Choose the letter of the best answer. Number 1. Farmers can no longer harvest vegetables. A. Air pollution B. Water pollution or C. Land pollution What is this? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Land pollution Number 2. Red tide is affecting the northern coast of the country. What is this? A. Air pollution B. Water pollution or C. Land pollution what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B, water pollution Number 3 The smell of the garbage is suffocating the villagers A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Land pollution What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A Air pollution. Number 4. Mine tilling are thrown in rivers. What is this? A. Air pollution. B. Water pollution. C. Land pollution. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter B. Water pollution. Number 5. Garbage is thrown in empty spaces in residential areas. Is it A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Land pollution What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter C. Land pollution Number 6. Factories release harmful smoke What is this? Is it A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Land pollution What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A. Air pollution Number 7. Chicken manures release foul odor all over the town Is it A. Air pollution B. Water pollution or C. Land pollution very good! The correct answer is Letter A, Air Pollution Number 8. Villagers dump their trash on a vacant lot at the back of the school. Is it A, Air Pollution B, Water Pollution C, Land Pollution What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter C, Land Pollution Number 9. Fishermen use dynamite while fishing. Is it A. Air pollution B. Water pollution or C. Land pollution What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B. Water pollution And number 10. Using detergent soap while washing clothes in the river. Is it A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Land pollution What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B. Water pollution Learning Task 4 Identify the following changes that will happen in the materials in each activity or situation. Tell whether they are useful or harmful in the environment. Number 1. Cutting of trees. Is it useful or harmful? What is the correct answer? Very good! Cutting of trees is harmful. Number 2. Shaping of wood to make furniture. Is it harmful or useful? Very good! The correct answer is useful. Number 3. Hammering or shaping iron to make bolo. Is it useful or harmful? Very good! The correct answer is useful. Number 4. Burning of old tires. Is it useful or harmful? Very good! The correct answer is harmful. 
Number 5. Shredding paper for paper mache. Is it useful or harmful? Very good. The answer is useful. Number 6. Cooking of food. Is it useful or harmful? Very good. The correct answer is useful. Number 7. Throwing detergent into the sewage. Is it useful or harmful? Very good. The correct answer is harmful. Number 8. Killing animals in the forest. Is it useful or harmful? Very good. The correct answer is harmful. Number 9. Sewing fabric to make clothes. Is it useful or harmful? Very good. The correct answer is useful. And number 10. Dumping garbage into the river. Is it useful or harmful? Very good. The correct answer is harmful. Remember, environment provides us all with so many wonderful and useful things. From beautiful sights to food and shelter to maintaining the delicate balance necessary to sustain life on this planet. We need to take care of our environment to have a better place to live in. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!